once in a great while, your human self touches your God self. And in that moment, it feels like a miracle. And it doesn't happen, certainly doesn't happen all the time to me. Um, but there's an opening being created. So I feel like this opening is coming through in a couple of different ways. If you are someone who has tried to suppress a lot of shit, I think that there's a lot of stuff coming up that people cannot suppress anymore. It's fucking coming up. And if you have no tools, I worry for those people because it's very overwhelming. It can also come up as the itch that you've always felt is now unbearable. The thing that was a whisper is now screaming at you for whatever it is. Get started doing this, you know, start taking care of yourself better. Start looking at the things that you've kind of tried to not be looking at. And then for people that are really, really looking at that stuff already, you're being called to step up and you're being called to expand. And there's this culling, I feel like you now is the time to take hold because if you don't, you're going to get squashed. I really do think there's a lot of pressure building and it can be beautiful, positive rebirthing pressure, or it can be the kind of pressure that you feel that it smashes the fuck out of you and smashes you flat. Now, it can smash you flat and then you have a beautiful flowering. But again, if you have no tools and no shields built up and no daily routine to give you power, you're going to be leveled. And I don't say this is a warning. I say this is an invitation to, to look at the buzzing that you feel. Because I'm telling you, it is coming from inside, but it is not just coming from inside. We're being called. And it's really up to you if you decide to heed the call. And the call for each of us is going to be completely different. So back to my original statement. Last night, um, in a moment of ballroom dancing, which is lessons that I'm taking, there was this moment of union where my inside self my human self and my God self were all present. And so was my man's. And it was just as intimate as we were in the bed. And it doesn't stick for, it wasn't there for, for the whole time. It was kind of a moment, a still point, but it was there. And those moments are the ones that compel me to keep doing it, to not stop the search, to not stop the deep investigation, to not stop the things that I'm being called to do, because those moments, they are heaven on earth. They are heaven on earth. They're what it feels like to me. They're all I need. And I invite you that you absolutely can have that if you haven't had that already. It's not an easy path, but it is such a rewarding one. And this is your invitation. And I will see you tomorrow.